this uh, this match is about ready to get going here. I guess. Is this going to go away? Good. Get it overhead. Yeah, we are started. Skipped it. Well, wait a minute. i got to be able to get my scoreboard here. That's number one. Goes around the world. Did you skip it? I guess so. Got a plate full of chips here. Now I can't eat them because I'm on a microphone. Ugh. <laughs> Doesn't it just bite? Uh. Was it good? That's the zone I can't see up to. That's a great jam. I know Jason was expecting to become coming forward onto that shot. Got it surprised when it came right in on his foot. No, that's not a point. Side out. Pardon? Jason got surprised by that. 2-1. That Z just trailed right straight along the glass in the back. Long. What's that? trouble that us us uh, B players have a lot of times. Can't can't get the ball off the wall. It's not an easy shot, that's for sure. Yeah. What footwork, oh my god. Did any miss it? Oh man. That finally got a chance. Uh-huh. I'm fond of saying uh, he, he earned it but didn't collect it. Yeah, right. right. That's true. So you earned that check, now take it to the bank. See, that camera needed to needed to adjust the... I need to adjust the white balance on that and not, not make it be flexing all the time because you walk in front of it and it messes up the camera. I need to lock down. It's... Uh, it's ooh. Jason took away his escape route. He wanted to come forward. To Wait, he, he, he got his point. It hit him. The ball hit. Ooh. It makes the diving effort. Can't reach out. Side out. Well, you got 3 2. I'm sorry, I got it wrong. I got. Where is it? I don't see it. Mm. That uh, should be a replay. Two services to three. Is that good or short? I think it was short, but might be a screen call. Yeah. This is gonna sail big time. Wow. Oh, Did he get it? Oh, yeah. Great dive. Get that. Man, I thought that Brayden, Brandon had it around him. I was about ready to go. See, that's how you do it. Oh, whoops. Don't count your chickens. 3-2. Yep. Oh. 
He wants to call. He wants a good serve call. Wait a minute. I don't know. Is it four? He says four. Yeah, four. Short. Good shot. Five. I'm going to take a second to see if I can't adjust that right hand camera. Uh, I only have one controller. That's weird. Not good. Replay. Serving three five, he just skipped that. All right, I'm caught up. I'm even gonna have a chip. I know it makes a terrible noise. Five serves to three. Oh, is that over? Real close. <laughs> Is he going to get a two bounce call? <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't see it. He's got a ref to argue with. What's the call? It's a short serve. Call it a short serve. Kill. Wow. That was. That was an angry kill. <laughs> so like two kills in one. Three serving five. That's the best way to get it out of your head. Is mm -hmm. to make the next point. Trouble with the glass, no question. I play um, LA Fitness in um, Livonia. They all have glass backs. I've been playing there for six years. I had trouble with the glass still. Sure. And I can't say why. It's just the back. It's all just the back. Yep. But uh, so I haven't really overcome it, but I have gotten used to it. <laughs> so that, that little extra concentration watching the ball. You know, and, and, if you're, and the problem is if your feet aren't positioned and ready, right. you're still trying to bend you're all over the place. You know? Right. Excuse me. And my, part of my problem is that I actually look at the wall. I'm not just following the ball right. because yeah. I'm worried about running into it and hurting myself. Whereas in a tournament, I wouldn't be so worried about hurting myself. It's like it doesn't matter much, you know. I'm willing. I'm willing to, to, to suffer a bump or a bang. That's no big deal. I don't care because this isn't. You know, this is what we've all aspired to. You're here now. <clears throat> Really? 
dive like that, I'll get you some floor Hey, dive. hey, hey, two to one. He's up on dive. <laughs> two to one. I probably should have hit the timeout button. I did not. So we're just incorporating this into the into the production, guys. Post production, what's that? Never heard of it. Okay. Overhead cam. We're all tied at five. Short serve. Second serve. He's going to do a power Z. Yep. Ooh, he punches the corner and hits it, I think. That's nice. Nice hands there. On the retreat. 6-5. Who called that timeout a minute ago? Do you remember? I think it was a two bounce off the toe of the racket. Seven five. All right. So, who's your favorite for this to go to the final? Um, I mean, before I would have said Jason, mm -hmm. but now watching the way they're playing and Brandon's kind of overpowering them right now, and Jason's getting a little frustrated. So, if Brandon keeps the pressure on him. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I guess I'd, I'd make this an, a fairly evenly called match, eh? You started out thinking one guy, now you're thinking the other. That's that's even. Both of them have their game face on big time. He wants a screen call. Uh, not getting it, looks like. 9-5. I'll make my, my scoreboard match yours. 9-5. What's it? What's the score? Uh, eight five. All right. Yeah. Wallpaper. Oh man. Wow. I, I would keep feeding that glass. Mm hmm Yeah, it's absolutely true. Good return or skip? I guess they call it a skip. Yeah, when I play on the glass court, I always figure, hey, I gotta suffer with the glass, so I'll make sure they do too. You know, payback is the number one rule. I first thing I learn is like when I hit a, a ball that, that sails off the back, my pun my opponent punishes me by hitting a rollout. And so the lesson learned is, when they hit a box ball that sails off the back glass, never fail to punish them in return. Okay, take the break. Match against somebody not from the club. Mm -hmm. That's an advantage you can have. Mm -hmm. you know, but if you constantly shy away from it in your league matches or just hitting around, you'll never get used to it. Right, right. Paddleball people hate the last one. Now, I'm sure. I'm sure that Brandon probably feels the same way, but you don't see any signs of it in the match right now. He looks totally confident. Great shot, great shot. Which can be one. Which can easily happen. You can let a couple of calls that don't go your way. Yeah. It can cause you a meltdown. Wallpaper on that on that glass. Set up. Yeah, that that looks like another vision problem, but not not caused by the glass for sure. I have I have a vision problem that I've been going struggling with for four or five years, and when it when it flares up, it does, you know when it's not flaring up, I'm fine. But when it flares up, I literally lose sight of the ball and have to just sort of guess at where it's going, and 
oftentimes I, I'm out of position by as much as, you know, a foot. And so then you're reacting to the ball the last instant. You, you never, you don't play well doing that. So, I mean, every sport, every sport, they all talk about seeing the ball and how much of that difference that makes. And people say, are you playing well? It's like, yeah, I'm seeing the ball well. You know. All right. Okay, Jason Kennedy's going to be serving game number two. Lost the first one at five. So he's frustrated, and he needs to pull out a win here. Well, there's a free point to start. One nothing. I'm joined by Ryan Minto helping me out with the with the cameras. Oh, uh, helping out with the, the scoreboard. So Ryan, if you pick up the headset, put that on, then the other people can hear the other half of my conversation with you. Yeah, it's like it's like I'm having a conversation with some other guy, whoever. All right. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Set out. Oh yeah, I gotta catch up with my scoreboard here. Still zero zero. Zero zero. All yeah. right. Both of these guys have had a good tournament so far. They've had a good year. Both of them have been playing really well all year long. Uh, so here we are at the final. And uh, oh, <coughs> game one, Brandon just was very very sharp. Game two, he's just already dumped. Isn't that one a point? No, set no. out. Oh, my bad. Okay. So just as we were talking about, yeah, mixing it up, changing the pace, try to get Brandon off his game because he just rolled through the first game. Uh huh. It's high lob serve. So I don't I don't know the answer to this. I think um, I think Brandon has two kids. I think one. I know he has at least one. Right. Yep. Um, I yeah. I'm not sure if it's one or two. Uh, but yeah, I mean he's, he looks so youthful. But he's a family man. He is. And uh, he's into uh, um, more athletics than just 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 uh, racquetball. Um, I don't remember. Uh, my memory is just terrible. But I, I think it was something like cycling, something like that that he does, and it's a group of people he does with. He uh, super avid into to paddle ball. He's like the, the the head of the association, the net state association. Yeah, he's he's a really good paddle ball player, and that's what he got his start into racket sports, I believe, is paddle ball, and then he's mm -hmm. transitioned over the last three four years into racket ball. I always, always when I'm watching him play to see if he throws out any paddle ball shots, like a a slower pass shot. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I know the little paddle ball is funny because it, it, you you have to almost slap or s punch the ball. You you can't really hit it the way you do a racket ball. Right. And you you know you have to hit it absolutely flat. But no no cut of any kind. And it's a harder transition for a paddle ball player. To transition to racquetball. Yep, that was a skip. Okay. Um, number of people over at Franklin are trying out paddleball and saying that they like it, and and I have not had the chance to do that. It's just it's a different game, you know, similar similar to racquetball, but um, instead of a quick side to side game, it's more of a front to the court, back to court, mm -hmm. more running. It's easier on your knees, actually, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. Probably not as easy on your shoulder. Paddles are the lightest paddles are 275, 300 grams, mm -hmm. so which they're is heavy. over twice as heavy as a racquetball racket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Roy tried it one time and took, came back and said that racket's so heavy I can't do it, I can't hit it. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I well, the wooden ones were 450 grams, but Gearbox is starting to come out with some lighter stuff that is a little easier on your shoulder and. Change the game a little bit. Makes it more fun for everybody to play. I can see it. You call it a skip? Uh, nope, he called it good. Point Jason. Well, I meant to kill. I, the kill that Brandon hit must have skipped because he's in the receiving side here. Oh, 
definitely a wallpaper. It's going to sail. Well, so far, Jason's calmed himself down. And I think a lot has to do with slowing the pace down. Because Jason's really good at position when he has time. and mm -hmm. uh, But when you put pressure on him, he, he tends to have more issues setting up for shots. Is that out? What do we got here? Five, five to zero. Uh, I, yep. uh, my, one of my cameras froze, and I'm trying to see if I can fix it here. Yep, zero five, Brandon serving. Good skip. All right, he's on the board. He's on the board, one to five. Really hasn't moved around in the box on his serves. Um, you know, if it's working for you, I Ooh. guess there's no reason to. Oh. Brandon had Jason boxed out in that rally and mm -hmm. put it down the line. Sometimes people overthink that. They think the guy's going to jump across and try to get it. And when you have somebody boxed out over half the court, just hit a hard shot down the line and they'll never get it. Mm -hmm. The um, the uh, the whole concept of all, oh, he'll, he'll move and I'll hit behind him. Um, a lot of times my advice to, to my partners and people that I, I play a lot of doubles, you know, my advice is, look, Make him prove it to you. Right. It's like, uh, you got an open court? Yeah, maybe he'll get there. Maybe. You hit into that open court, and you keep on hitting it there until he runs over there, and then you can say, oh, look, he ran over it once. Yep. Maybe I'll make him prove it to me again. He does it twice. Mm -hmm. Then I'll then I'll start entertaining notions that go behind him. Ooh. So there's your example right there. Even though Jason's capable of running hard and fast, he's hit the open court anyway. Yep. It's like, yeah, Jason yep. did try. But One guy that is really great at reading where you're going to go and hitting it behind is Gedker. Mm -hmm. Steve does that. He did it to me yesterday on a number of occasions where you thought 90% sure he's going to hit it in front of you, and he hits it behind you, and your momentum just can't stop. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, Big Steve is a, a very... Um, Unpredictable. Mm -hmm. he, he balances out all of his actions so you can't say, oh, he always does. There's no always to him. Right. That's one of the things I've always aspired. It's always been part of my game at the core is to, to feel as though I don't want to be predictable. I don't right. want anyone to think they know what I'm going to do. Yeah, and same with serves. If you, can, if you can mix up the pace on your serve, even if you're serving in the same spot, um, that has a big thing. I mean, you get two bounces before the back wall or it just throws your opponent off just enough that they can't anticipate the speed it's going to come out at. You know, let me counterpoint that. I used to I used to think that was my number one principle. Um, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, Ryan had to go take off to dress up. Boy, he is running down the hall. Six four looks like we had a timeout. Guys, there. Right. I was. It wasn't I conducting, but uh, but you know, we're reflecting on their different views and the and the questions were asked were stuff like, uh, um, you know, how do you feel going to a match? Are you nervous? You know, and uh, and. Cliff said, you know, every match, I, you know, I played hundreds of matches. You know, he's won more than 200 tournaments. Yep. And yet, he's always nervous going into it. And Sudsy's like, no, I'm never, ever not nervous yeah. at all. It's um, crazy. It's like they're opposites. Weird. <clears throat> and yet, they were total rivals. Yeah. Total, you know, these guys were a, a match set in terms of rivalry goes. Um, is it good? I didn't see it. Yep. Good pinch, reverse pinch. Right. Point. <coughs> so I mean, I thought I found that to be sh shocking that two guys at the peak of their game at the same time against each other in opposite worldview. Right. Know? And both intense individuals on the court. Oh yeah, you you can't get more intense than the than either one of them. 
nice backhand reverse pinch. I watched Jason warming up yesterday and today, and he was practicing that at the dotted line. Mm -hmm. A backhand reverse pinch from about shoulder height, and he was pretty money on it. I think he probably hit 80 or 90% of it. Almost. Ooh, Miss that. Brandon with a big, big almost complete whiff. Yeah, he's like a different guy now all of a sudden. He was, he's starting to press a little bit. <coughs> he's down a little bit. And uh, see, now instead of going for an easy defensive lob shot or ceiling ball, Ooh. he tries to pound some weird, some weird ball that, I don't know, it's just he's changed his game when he really – really shouldn't have. Mm -hmm. well, let's see if he can get it back into the back into the rails here. Yeah, well the serve is one place you can do that. Nope. Oh, that was good enough pass. Yeah. So if he can keep hitting some drive serves and pressure and he can change the momentum. Mm -hmm. Probably takes about three or four aces before he can get into somebody's head big mm -hmm. time. Is that short? Yep, short serve. Yeah, you're kind of blocked out from right that little <laughs> spot of the line. I, I lose about the last about the last three feet of that service line. Right. There's a nice Yo. down the line shot from nine five. Jason. I mean, I guess that in, in other sports you got production people who are just using the view from the camera. That's all they got. Right. But I I find it's better to to, to eyeball the court itself. So I don't. I don't look at the, the screen if I don't have to. Right. No, uh, he wants a, a reap. What? Yeah, he wants a hinder. Yeah. That's iffy. He was a, he was a little behind it. I didn't know if he could catch up to it. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, uh, yeah. You can always you can always go and stand next. Ooh, kill. You can always go stand next to your opponent and then go, oops, you're in my way. Right. Like, uh, right. No, that's a manufactured hinder. Yep. Um, so I'm, I got a, a feel for a manufactured on that well, one. Well, that's all right because what that does is yep. Brandon did it the first game. Call like that. He uses that as fuel to, mm -hmm. to, 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 to amp get up. Back, yeah, to amp up, and that's how he likes to play. So maybe that will help him. Yep. The silver lining. Right. Jason serving at 9-5. Okay, got my scoreboard right. Ooh, what happened there? I uh, just got a crack. I mean, I thought he, I thought he was, I thought he had a swing at it. Oh, he did, but it, it, it bounced twice, mm -hmm. right, right under his racket. Okay. And on that one, you probably shouldn't try to take a full swing. Just get the ball and back mm -hmm. in play. Just push it in the corner and call it good. Yeah. Yeah, let's get it back to the front wall. Some skip. Big skip. That's one of those lower percentage shots that I think that's when it's funny because Brandon or Jason's up mm -hmm. 10 to 5. Normally you don't try shots like that. Well, on the indoor game, you don't because the ball will sail off the back wall. Right. But in the outdoor game. That's a good shot, right? That is, yeah, that is the shot. So, I mean, it's not. It's not low percentage for the reason like you can't, you know, you can't get it to the front wall. It'll always skip. You need to be playing at six to eight inches high. Right. Um, right there you saw an example of Brandon overpowering Jason. And Jason, um, you know, he misses those. In, mm -hmm. When you jam him in his feet, he seems to be having trouble with those. Good well. return by Jason. Yeah, no sooner said than he, Jason. <laughs> the ball comes right in on his lap and he rolls it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No shortage of talent. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. Really close. That was close. Probably call it short. Yep. Yep. Oh. Ooh. Brandon puts the effort in to run all the way around the block. Right. Just watch it roll out. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's clutch time. It is. Um, 
Yeah, I was just talking about that. I think that when you feel like it's time to, to draw the line in the sand and say, i got to hold them, it's about 10. Yeah, yeah. So here, here is at 11. It's like it's time to say, look, I'm going to lose this if I, don't, if I don't turn this around now. By the time I catch up, he might have 13 or 14. Right. And that's assuming I succeed in getting it turned around right now. And Brandon's trying to use that glass now. Wow, look at that dive. That was fabulous. Yep. I personally haven't learned to drive like I should. I'm more like a falling tree. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, for all of those folks out there who are interested, 7-Eleven, uh, right? Um, ben, do-do-do-do-do, uh, what's his name? Croft. Ben Croft at, uh, at uh, Racquetball Warehouse has got a video that he produced about how to dive properly that is fantastic. And he talks about the fact that it's the, the, the biggest key is getting your weight down low first. Right. And then push and so you're not falling like a tree like you'd say. Oh, another you, dive. You want to. Uh, I don't know what Jason was wanting. Wow, wow. He, he, wanted, he wanted two bounces, but it was good. I don't know why he's complaining. He just disagreed with the call. Right, and now you just fired up, fired up Brandon. By not closing that rally down, so yeah, and he's uh he came from from five, and now it's up to eight. Right, right, right there. Looking for a towel. Yeah, yeah. I got him some nice DAC maintenance towels to wipe the floor up with. Mm -hmm. That was diving. Definitely makes the rallies more fun to watch, and I mean, there's some. Watching the IRT guys do it, it's like, I mean, it's almost every rally there's a dive, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, uh, the the new league, the WRTs, I love it, wipes the floor and then wipes his face. Yeah, <laughs> at least hopefully he uses the other side of the towel. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they all do it, I don't get it, I don't understand. I, I swear to God, at every level, the pros all do it. Yep. Wipe the floor, wipe your face. I did it yesterday. <laughs> I don't understand, but I, I see it, you keep seeing it. Taking a regular timeout now. I believe so. You know, trying to get calls when you know, but right, a little more cutthroat. Well, you know, I watched the IRT and I watched the uh, the WRT, <coughs> and in the WRT, they don't put up with anything at all. Nothing. Right. You don't back talk a ref. You don't even raise your voice. You know, if you want to question a call, it's like, did you call that short? Yeah. Okay. All <laughs> right. That that's questioning a call. Um, but otherwise, it's like no, they're uh, the slightest, the slightest impropriety, you know, warning. Yep. And uh, technical, bam, it's really quick. I think Charlie Pratt was the best at doing that. He had always had a calm demeanor, but he also wouldn't let any players push him around, mm -hmm. you know. And he was a player too, so yeah, you know, that helps. All right, Jason just got a side out. Yeah, I, I, uh, like I said, at the WRT they don't put up with anything, and I, I almost feel like they're too, they're too strict. I think the players ought to be able to express a little bit of emotion. Right. You know, if they're if they disagree with the call, they ought to be able to channel it a little bit. Right. But, uh, but I, I think that the in the IRT they let them get too far. They they get disrespectful. Right. And oh yeah. It's like you're gonna drop draw a line there that says you can disagree with me but you're not allowed to insult me that's right. the kind of way I would look at it absolutely Good but it uh, yeah there, there's always this tendency to to give back you get 12 8 yep okay tendency to kind of is, is that right to manufacture to manufacture uh, opportunities to, to balance it out you feel like you he got upset with you on this call, so then next time you'll go easy on him on a different one. And uh, I don't think that, that has any place in the sport. No. The last IRT, I don't know what the t what the rules are for replays in the IRT. You might know better than me. Uh huh. But um, you know, you'd think that asking for a replay would help squish some of those questionable calls. However, however. Um, 
it took so much time to do the replay that it really took away from the game. It was, and I don't know if they have, like, are only allowed two or three replay challenges per match or, or what that is, but it seems like it's too many because, I mean, it just took away from any any momentum for the players, took away from the, the viewing experience from the fans. Uh-huh. So yeah, the, um, the, the, the new rules that at the IRT level is that it, when there's a broadcast in, in play, they use the replay to, to challenge. They, they limited it to only three different things you can be challenged, which is uh, a short call, uh, a, skip ball, uh, a skip ball, and um, what, was, what am I thinking here? And it was like, there's three things so that you can challenge that are... You know, like that. A hinder, maybe, or no, not really. No, oh. hinder is considered to be a judgment call. Okay. Um. Anyway, I I don't know. If, ooh, ace serve. Yeah, ace serve. Wow, Come Jason's on. kick it up. Jason's uh really turned it on here. He's got a couple good serves. Oh, 14? In. I had it at thirteen. Uh, fourteen eight. Jason going for that crack. Oh, oh my. Oh ahead. my. Great Brandon. Game. I think Brandon was already check, cashing the check. He he had a chance at it, but he just delayed, and next thing you know. I'm going to restart this, the feed here because getting ready for game two. Oh, long. All right. Brandon got, to, got the serve because he had more points in the combined match so far. So I, I always say that, uh, in my opinion, oh, Glass got to him. Yep, Glass got him that time. The uh, um, the game's to eleven, but really, the sprint it's a sprint to five. Whoever gets to five first usually ends up winning. Right. Um, once you get to five, if you're if you're literally tied five five or five four, then fine, you're going to have yourself a, a fight all the way down the line. Right. But a lot of times you'll get to five two, and next thing you know, you'll end up winning the game at eleven four or something. And it's like, yeah, they just lose heart. It's hard. Oop. The tiebreaker is all about getting the lead early. Here you are. Yeah, tiebreaker. Zero zero. Yep. Yeah, it's been a nice fight. Yeah, yeah. Been a good match. Mm-hmm. Really good. Yep. Emotional, but not angry. If you can say that. Yeah. Yep, racquetball similar to basketball is, is also a streaky sport. Mm -hmm. You know, and you get on a run, and there's an ill-advised overhead. Mm -hmm. He jumped. Jason. Yeah, he jumped. Yeah, <laughs> don't leave your feet. It's, it's not good. It's normally not a good idea to leave your feet <laughs> for a hey, shot. Neil. He went. All right. Neil Brand just walked by. Give me the high sign. All right, zero zero still. There's, wow. there's a great shot. Shoulder yeah. high kill. Shoulder high kill. Low low percentage still, but he had a, a, a wide open right side of the court, so mm -hmm. he took advantage of it. He's trying to rush the shot, yeah. Yep, trying to press the pace, and even if you hit that three feet off the wall, you still got to hustle, go get it. Probably leave you with a setup. Yep. Yeah, I, um, I feel like the... Uh, the outdoor game is growing, and the indoor game is shrinking. Yeah. And they're not the same game, really. There's a lot of differences in shots, a lot of differences in strategies. Um, you know, in the outdoor, there's no back wall for most of the courts, and that means that if you hit a, sh a shot deep in the court that bounces point three zero three zero, you hit a shot that bounces a foot before the line, that's 39 feet. That's a great shot. They're going to chase like crazy to get that. They'll be shooting at 80 feet. But on the indoor game, you're much better off hitting just above that crack because then the ball will lay down yeah. and doesn't sit up high, sure. and you, you have a good chance of winning that point. So it's like there's an opposite. Right. Uh, six inches deeper, you lost the point outdoors. Six inches deeper indoor, you won the point. Yep. Yeah. So uh, Brandon had a good run. Four nothing's the score. 
kind two of bounce, I think. It looked like it, but Brandon made sure there was no question. <laughs> that's that's what you were talking about there about uh, signaling. Don't don't fight over it. Keep on play through it. Right. Definite example of it. Nice Nick lob highs. Hoping he's hoping Jason takes that replay. Yep, replay. Yep. He's 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 trying to bait Jason into hitting another overhead kill mm -hmm. into the floor. So pretty good strategy. Oh, oh there's another jump shot. <laughs> there's another leave your feet shot, and we all do it. Uh huh. You get excited. There's the ball. Oh my gosh. Well, let's hit it quick. The, w the angle and the way that ball was going to go around, there wasn't really going to be a good place to play the ball. No. And so just press, press the pace yep. while Jason's still out of position. It's he wants a short serve? I guess. I thought it was a good serve. Yeah. I, I don't <laughs> Zero serves to four. He's losing that race to five. Oh, Ooh. oh. Uh, Sweet Whoa, liking hand. that. <laughs> yep. Crowd pleaser. <laughs> yep. Now Brandon keeps his momentum, keeps the pressure on. You know, Jason's going to be hard-pressed to, to come back mm -hmm. and knock him off his game. Using the pace. Yeah, but then Brandon gets the setup he wanted. And no replay. There's... No, no, the no. ball did not kick out. It stayed. It came no. all the way into the corner. I would say a point. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's a point. I would say, I would say. The ball did not kick into the center of the court. It, it came all the way into this corner. And yeah, he was way out of position. You can't play what ifs. I could have got it. No, it, you couldn't have got it. Yeah. So, well, well there's the first five. Um, yeah, test my it's, theory. It's a, it's a battle. Um, Brandon is up five to nothing in the in the tie break. Yep. It's it's been a match of uh, match of runs here. Mm -hmm. You know now now what uh, you know what what Jason did the first time. You know slow the pace down. Try to you know lob serve Nick lob. Don't let don't let Brandon keep rolling with his his shooting because his shooting is getting really good. Mm -hmm. You know, that backhand, he's hit two fabulous backhands, rollouts almost. So, so right now I'm just overhearing uh, Jason is trying to convince uh, Brandon to side with him and overrule the referee and trying to, trying to pitch his position. And uh, Brandon, I don't think, has the... Has the uh, hood spot to say to him, but I agree with the call. So tough. <laughs> right. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, mean, don't, I don't want to know how to tell you this, dude, but uh, I, I, I'm not going to give you that point. I want to win. Right. And 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 it's it's not. Uh, I don't. I think Brandon's, you know, very justified to let the ref make that call. It's yeah. a judgment call, and and you know that's what you have a ref for. Right. So. Right. Well, you know. I'm and that's why there's refs for these open matches, because mm -hmm. even though there's not really money involved, you know, it's still a... Oh, yeah. I mean, this is... Well, if you're a player, that how, how, big a, how much bigger a uh, uh, venue is there? Right. You know, in our state, this is the this is the peak of the mountain. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the, the, the top of the top of the mountain. Yeah. Of, of his opponent in... Uh, it's on. It's on YouTube. If you want to check it out, um, who's mm -hmm. the guy from? Who's the guy from the two oh nine? Ellis. Ellis. John yeah. Ellis. He's Keith. Uh, yeah. Yep. John Ellis. Yep. And and then the ball is about six inches right above John Ellis's head, and Cliff rolls it out. <laughs> and John Ellis was smart enough just to lay on the ground and be as still as possible. <laughs> <laughs> so just just right past his face. Huh? Yep. But uh, anyway, so Brandon took the serve back. 5-2. He's, he's doing that Nick lob on the glass side. Yeah, from here on out, Brandon does not have to win on points. He just needs to keep it close. Yep. He take that advantage and milk it right on out to the end. But he can't let Jason go on any kind of a big run. 
Oh, that's a good round the world. Yep. Using the glass, playing it safe shot. Yep. I don't know. He's about 18 inches high on the front wall. It's not not terribly close to any kind of a skip. Nope. Five serving two. I got my scoreboard right for a change. There you go. Great serve. Did he call it short? I don't know how he called that what? short, but he did. Oh, my goodness. Well, so much for I don't disagree with any of his calls. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, if it was, if it would have been an ace or something, that would have been a little more heartbreaking for Brandon, but... Yeah, I mean, they were, right. they were into the rally. It's not like there was any one guy was owning that. Nice play. Yep, so, yep, yep. so Brandon tried to get him to take the bait for that overhead, and Jason thought better of it and just went back to the ceiling, which was the right shot because mm -hmm. Jason has skipped a several of those and uh, almost paid off. But wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, that one of the big things with that kind of shot is Brandon planted his feet planted his feet and just powered through the ball instead of trying to hit it on the run or do something crazy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's, that's all it takes. That looked like a... Is that what? Point short? Mullen. Dan. Mullen. I don't know. Mm. It looks yeah, like it, a second serve. It, it must have been short. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Brandon's still, Brandon's still yeah, having I'm fun. It. I'm loving it. Yeah. That's one thing that's fun. Fun is when guys are still smiling and having see, a good time. You see the look on his face? It yep. was not smiling. He's mad. Right. He, but at the same time, he's making a joke. Making a joke. It's like, what? talk about a, a dual mentality here. I know it's funny. Oh, I'm not, yeah. Not funny to me, but it must be funny to you all. I'm like, yep, you're right. It is. You know, it is. a couple, couple guys who... Who are just <clears throat> awesome at having fun, even in an intense match. Jimmy Floyd's, I would say, the number one guy who mm -hmm. can smile and hit things between his legs in the middle of an intense rally. And Alvaro um, mm -hmm. is a great humor. Oh yeah, Alvy's got a <laughs> wicked, wicked <laughs> sense of humor. He's you do awesome. not want to, you don't want to tease him because he will tear you up. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a good ceiling. Wow, well, Brandon just got that back. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my. He had a pretty good setup, but but in that that time he set his feet, but the ball was way behind him and it kind of mm -hmm. kind of messed him up, but well, he was going for the kill. He was know. going for the kill. Hey, hey, better go for it than than leave it up and <coughs> Short serve. Yeah, the uh, we were talking about that one that he he killed. Um, Jason, I think intentionally, hit a, a hard ball with pace right at his feet, and that's to me a, a, always a, a a very effective shot. Oops, not a point plus side out. Um, that a ball that comes in and bounces right around your feet is, you, if you take it before the bounce, it's awkward. You take it after the bounce, it's awkward. A short hop, and a lot of times players will be mad at themselves. Because right. they feel like they blew a shot. Yeah. Because you hit it right to them. Yeah. It's like no, no. That's that's a very difficult shot. I hit it on purpose, and uh, it it comes in stealth mode. Makes it seem like I blew it, and I didn't blow nothing. I, I put it right where I wanted it. Yep. The biggest the biggest trick to that is the only way you have a chance at that is to have your racket ready. Mm -hmm. A lot of people drop their racket, especially the the lower level players, will just have their racket at their side and aren't ready. Mm -hmm. If you get your racket ready, at least you can hopefully get some strings on it and get it back to the front wall if it's hit right at your feet. It's, that's a super good piece of advice. Absolutely true. One of the the biggest differences between the pros and the, the good amateurs is the pros look like they're instantly ready all the time, and they are <coughs> instantly ready. They yeah. run around the court ready. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the I took a few lessons from Cliff a couple years ago, and, and his first thing he teaches everybody is racket preparation. Get your racket back and ready to swing. Get your racket ready when you're in the front court, because then you don't have to think about it. Then when your feet are in position, all you do is swing. You don't have mm -hmm. to 
all the setup pr preparation time and get your racket back. Nope. If you already have it back ahead of time, it makes the rally that much easier. Oh, that's a good choice. Yep. The, yeah. Uh, and he got himself a setup, and Jason skipped it. Oh, oh man. It's a, it's a knife fight going back and forth. Yep. Now we're now we're getting all right. So with a game to 15, at about 10 is when you need to change momentum. Mm -hmm. The tiebreaker at eight. Well, that's in my head. Mm -hmm. If I'm at eight, I need to really do something and get get the momentum back because you're you're only three points away from winning the whole match. So. Well, look at the scoreboard now. It was 5-0. Now it's 8-3. The same five-point lead. Yeah. And so the thing that I said before was you just got to match him. Don't let him go on a run. Trade points. And so, hey, it's taken a long time to get to three. That's not a run. And they've matched. Yeah, Brandon just calls timeout. Good timeout probably. Okay. For your final push, change your glove. Get a dry glove on. I think they're wondering how many timeouts they got. I don't know. Uh, supposed to be two. Two timeouts and a, and a tie break. Yep. So, three to eight. Jason has a lot of work to do to get back in this thing, but not overcomable, but like you say, not probable. Mm -hmm. This is a semi-final match. These guys are playing it like it was the final. Oh, yeah, and you got to. Uh huh. You got, you got to play just about every match in the open and the pro divisions like it's a final. Oh, unless, yeah, balls up. Replay. Unless you're trying to conserve... I think he called a point. I really? I think it was by him. Oh, no, man. Dan. Dan. Point. Thanks. Oh, that's a bad yep. call. Dan I don't know. I, I think it was far enough by him. <laughs> now we have a new scorekeeper. Yeah, the collision occurred while the ball was still out in front by about four feet. So I don't, I don't think so. Well, as we've seen before, Brandon normally used stuff like that as fuel so I think he's like coming forward like uh, he hit the strings of the record is he yep. looking forward to, to an apology or is he looking uh, for an avoidable that would have been a good time to do the pro walk just uh, walk, <laughs> right. walk into that center box like what what well, right you gonna do a replay you're kidding me right right yeah short serve <clears throat> we got a rain coming I can hear it better get some towels ready <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, that was clutch. The five-point lead has evaporated at three. <laughs> Brandon's, what laugh what Brandon's laughing at himself. He, yeah. could, he still had a chance at it. He did a clean whiff, and it came way off the back wall, and he just kind of gave up on it. But, you know, that happens. There's a... You're going to call that one a point two, guys? I don't think uh, so. That looks like an avoidable. I don't think so. I'd he he was in his straight in line to it. He blocked it, and he was moving in that direction. Yeah, that's. I don't think he did because because it wasn't going to be an offensive setup. It was more Brandon trying to get to it. So yeah, I'm guessing that's why. The oh. um, the rule book is really clear. Yeah. That if you're standing still and there's a collision, okay, that's a replay. You're moving into his line. That's yeah. unavoidable. Oh, okay. Well, I don't play by the rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, just saying, you know. No, no. I, I, hear I got my certification, you know, and there I'm you know. going to study like hell. And it's like a lot of the differences between avoidable or not is whether or not you're moving. Right. And it, your movement is in, in some way affected that, affected it. Oh, you just skip, dump that. Now, Brandon needs to take a timeout now. He's yeah, he's, he's giving away four out of the five-point lead he had. He's giving the momentum back to Jason here, and he needs to recollect his thoughts. But maybe, maybe he's waiting until uh, the game's tied. But I like to <laughs> still have a lead with a timeout. Yeah, that was a great shot. And he, yep, yeah. clutch, well, clutch well, shot. He collected himself enough to hit a nice pass down the line. Mm -hmm. he, he set up his footwork just right, and. Uh, you know, he did the thing that, that Cliff talks about is saying, um, you know, when you feel like you have an opportunity to hit that down the line shot that you practice and warm up when you're getting ready, yep. do it. Pretend do you're it. alone on the court and just hit it that flush straight shot. And uh, don't. Nice. Oh, he skipped it. 
Side out. Side out. Seven eight. Well, he was playing that one up higher. That was around chest high. Did not wait for it to come down. Got a little lightning and thunder happening. Yeah. Good. Great effort. You, yeah, I was going to say, it shouldn't require a dive like that to get to a, a regular serve. That must have been short, but I couldn't tell because of my, my wall. Yeah. It, yeah, it looked, it looked uh, pretty close, but but short was the, the right call. It doesn't seem like, like either... Either player is too winded. Seem like they both have plenty of energy to be blasting a few uh, drive serves and shooting the ball quite a bit still. So Brandon was awfully close on that dotted line, and Jason skipped. Oh, he did not skip it into the. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Brandon uh, thought he had. I thought he had too, but but you never know. It could have squeaked off the sidewall. Tie okay, game. So we got eight eight. Tie game. Jason's turned it around. Now it's a game to three. Good, good reset. Yeah. Drive Jason yep. back a little bit. Uh-oh, set up. There you Push. go. That's, yeah. what you, that's what you try to do right there. Yeah, that's solid money. He had an open court to shoot to. Second bounce hit the back glass about, what, two, three inches high? Yep. I mean, that's just just perfect pass. Yep, Jason had no shot at it. Mm -hmm. But, like I say, game to three now, so mm -hmm. this is where you got to bear down. and All he did was get into the box. That doesn't uh, translate into a win. Yep. That's true. Get into the box a thousand times, so now it's turned time to earn some money. Yep. Loving this match. Oh yeah. <laughs> so he takes a deep breath. You see that exhale there? Yep. Calms himself a little bit before the serve. And then oh, it's a nice the... nice choice. Uh oh, jump there's one of those jump shots. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Did you skip it? Yep. Skip the backhand. Oh, jeez. Going for the kill. Yeah, Jason Jason did a great job of getting himself out of trouble. Yeah. Because uh, yep. Brandon sure did have his setup. Well, Brandon kind of had happy feet going into the wall, and it, and he um, he kind of he jammed himself, so he didn't have much of a choice mm -hmm. for that return because that could have been a setup if he was positioned right. Oh. And that time Brandon he didn't get away with it. Brandon was right there. Now Jason just took the lead. 9 8. A lot of times, what happens when you get into a tight game like this in a tiebreaker is players quit. They forget about touch and they're, they're amped up and they want to, you know, shoot the ball all over the place. And you're seeing that a little bit here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll notice the pros still have that relaxed, and they'll they'll still have those soft hands up front when the opportunity presents itself. And mm -hmm. Well, I mean, Jason has just scored six unanswered points, and he's in the box again. And he's in the box. So that's a that's a a, a huge factor. Brandon just needs three points. And he's done. He yep. gave six away, and all he needs is three. I shouldn't say gave away. That's not the right answer. Yeah, Jason um, Kennedy calls timeout. <laughs> Is that a victory? Uh, Brandon thought he just forfeited the match, but uh, he just called timeout. Oh, okay. Don't break it's good. It. It's a good thing, though. Not enough people do family dinners these days. Well, I, I, we didn't do it out of any kind of sentimentality. No. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm the one that, that decided to. Oh. Oh, jeez. Well, that that's, had to be a replay. That's that's another case of that's unavoidable. Yeah. That, that he was literally moving around in front of him instead of holding still. Yeah. It's like you got you hindered him. 
and you did it while you were moving. That's unavoidable, basically. Oh, hurt he his got, foot? Yeah, hurt his foot. I don't know what Dan called it. Brandon's being a tough guy right now. You can take it. Looks like it. Looks like uh, the ref called it a just a replay. Yeah. Well, I mean, Brandon would definitely be in the box if he was calling it avoidable. So. Yeah. You know how it is. You make a bad shot, so you go bump into the guy, and that's uh, <laughs> right. I guess you can't play it after all. Right. I hit it right to you in the middle of the court. Yep. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt that, that Jason has been the receiver of better calls than worse. Ooh. He was complaining about the calls being against him, but right. looks to me like he's been the beneficiary of the bad calls to me. But I like both of these guys, so, I mean, it's not going to... It's not going to break my heart if either one of them wins or loses. Yeah, it, it looked like a good serve, but again, can't let that take you out of the game. You just go right back at it. 9-8, it's going to lob it. Yeah. Skip. Oh man, Jason! Oh yeah, he, he just kind of overplayed. He should have gone nice down the line, nice and easy, and you know he just he thought. I think he overthought it. He's like, hey, I'm going to do a reverse pinch on the other side and really throw him off. And if you're not used to hitting those kind of shots all the time, then right hand camera froze again. But also when you're when you're up, you can take some chances like that. Nice. Wow. Nice. Yeah, nothing to swing at. Tie chased, game. Chased nine, it. Nine. Couldn't get. Yep. Couldn't get underneath it. Yeah. Yeah. These. I'm having trouble with these cameras are freezing. Having to reset them um, several times during this match. And that basically means I lose all of those settings that I put in that adjust the color and stuff. They're all going away because I'm turning the camera off and back on again. Right. Pain. But. All right, you do. tie game. Nine nine. Doesn't take uh, doesn't take too much. No, this could be over in, in ten seconds yep. or, or twenty seconds. It can happen very very quickly. Even though it's been dragging on and on. Uh huh. It it could happen very suddenly. Yep. Let's see what's he gonna do? Jason's gonna try to to kill this ball right off the get go. Nice. The defense. Jason tries to pressure him, mm -hmm. which, which is always a good uh -oh, strategy. Set up. set up, and Jason couldn't handle it right into his body. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, 10-9. <clears throat> so this is our first match point. Yep. It's been a great game so far. A lot of intensity. Yep, a lot of fun. Brandon looks almost tired, like, like a... Screen. Yep. Screen yeah. Ball. That passed about a foot from his body, maybe a little less, eight inches, something like that. Looks like he's gonna go. Z lob. Nick. Yep. Or a forehand, Nick. No. Oh, so he has a setup, and he. Oh, he had it right on his stick. He stood up on it at the last second instead of bearing down and. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, you know. Well, <laughs> that's all you can do is get it back. Well, Jason has the opportunity. I mean, either one of these guys can serve it out at this point. So. Mm -hmm. Well, he's one point down. He's going to need one to get himself into position. Oh. Oh, that one hit him. It hit him. The ball hit his knee. I don't know what he's calling. Side out, it, it hit him. It hit him. It looked like it, it hit him. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it hit him. It looked like it. Yeah, it hit his leg.
It looked like it changed direction. Yeah, the call the call is uh, side out, right? Jason's heading into the box like he it, owns it. It looked like it hit him. Yeah, in the absence of line judges, his call stands. Right. Yep. Mm. It ch it definitely changed direction, and it went and it went through his legs and. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can mark the time. Uh, one oh five forty four. <laughs> one oh five forty four. We'll we'll replay it after the match. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be happy to do it. I'll be happy to do it. All the, the video will be here. When I mean the match is over, we'll have a, we'll be able to jump right to wherever we want. You know, I mean, it's it's uh, not fun for Jason on a call like that. But um, if it didn't hit him, it was it was too questionable to overturn, mm -hmm. and just about consensus that it did. So, you know, that's all you can do. What's the call? Uh, the call was that the ball had hit Jason. And it came around uh, the corner between his legs, and it looked like it changed direction and hit him. Dan called it that it hit him. He just doesn't want to let it go. No. It, it hit him. Ball hit him. What? It looked like it hit him. It's about a foot high. It looked like it hit him. Replay it. Just replay it. Replay it. I don't think so, man. It hit. Brandon thinks it hit him. It, it hit. He doesn't know. There's three people that have a vote. The referee and the two players. The two players can overrule the referee. Yeah. Nobody else. That's it. So if the two players want to overrule the referee, they can do so. I don't think Brandon wants to reverse the call. And so that's the end of that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Brandon can... Uh, Brandon decided to replay it. Oh, they just which is this? Yeah, okay, that's crazy. That is crazy. Replay. Hey, that's Brandon. Brandon was the. Uh, the I, I can't. I can't show it right now, Roy. Did I get it on the replay? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, the location where it occurred, it's right in front of the camera, down low at his feet. Yep. No, it didn't crack out. People said it rolled out. It didn't roll out. It actually hit down and bounced up through Jason's legs. Right. Um, There's no question it passed between his legs. Yeah. Uh, about the level of his calves, just yeah. below the knee. Yeah. That part of it, I, I don't have any doubt whatsoever. Whether or not it, it raised his leg or not. But Brandon Brandon was a nice guy. and Yeah, I would have just taken the point and said, it's too bad for you. Right. Yeah. But you're cutthroat. You're cutthroat, Dave. Well, I'm just like, hey, calls go... What they nice. are. Nice. You know? Nice. Calls are so what they are. There's karma. <coughs> but Side out. awesome. So it's still 9-10. He didn't get that extra point to put him in position. Nope. So to be sudden death. Crack serve it. Good win. It is a forehand Z. Kill. Got it. Got it. Oh, my. 11-9. Oh, what my. A great tie break. So he gave him the replay. We overcome it, uh, and he gets the win anyway.